if you are going to etch your dentine, then you will significantly reduce the bond strength using certain systems. But some people think that, oh, you should never etch dentine, but it really depends on which system you're using. Like a SE Bond 2, you can have a negative effect on the bond strength by using it. So really got to go deep into the literature on how to use the system that you have, right? It makes dentistry more interesting. It turns something mundane, like a class two, which, you know, you probably fret most about getting the contact point, something interesting, because you're going to go through every step from caries removal, crack removal, the adhesive that you're using, how you're treating the surface, how you're layering it. And then you can have the fun with your anatomy. But I think sometimes we put the horse before the cart. We're, we're bothered about the anatomy and we don't know what's going on below it. And, th and mm -hmm. then we get these failures. So I would say if we have a restoration fail under five years, we can't really blame the patient. For, for not flossing or he got recurrent decay. That's us and our bonding protocol that's failed.